Hi, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Couch to Careers. Um, make sure to check out our playlist on the Career Center's YouTube channel to catch up on all of our episodes. Today, we are talking about job search websites. Have you ever logged into Handshake or LinkedIn or even Indeed, and before even searching for the position that you're interested in, you feel overwhelmed immediately? So today, we're hoping to share with you all with some tips on how to navigate these websites to maximize your search. Some of the tools to consider using in your, in your search are filters and keywords. Depending on the search platform you're using, there's a variety of filters to choose from that can help you hone in on positions of interest. Some common filters include job function, industry or field, location, and job type. Filter, filters can not only help you find positions that fit the criteria you're looking for, but most importantly, they can help you remove positions that aren't a good fit. Similarly, keywords can help you if you have some specific job titles in mind that you're searching for. Remember that oftentimes the name of your major will not yield you many results if you just type that in the search field. So you may have to try a variety of keywords to find what you're looking for. Our second tip is to let the job search websites do the work for you in the future. So for example, on Handshake, you can save search criteria and receive alerts from your saved searches. To do this, Simply have all your filters and criteria set, and then click the save your search located above the list of jobs that appears on the left side of the page. You can also edit your notification settings. These notifications come via emails. The default frequency is to receive one every single week. Those emails are a great way to not even be on Handshake, but still learn about some new opportunities that are gonna be presented to you. Our third tip is to utilize specific job search websites. This can allow you to search for your desired positions in a certain location, industry, or company. A great tool that you can utilize is the career community pages on our, web, on our website. Each career community web page has links to these specific job search pages. This is a great tool because it gives you the ability to search for only positions that you are interested in. It'll save you time from having to filter out results and know the things that you're applying for are really going to be of interest to you. Okay, so our final tip for you today is to put yourself in a position to be found. Job seekers aren't the only ones using job boards. Many recruiters are searching for available candidates, even more so now that traditional event events have been restricted. So posting your resume online is where a hiring manager can find you and invite you to apply for jobs that you didn't even know existed. Because of this, we recommend keeping an up-to-date LinkedIn page and Handshake profile. On your resume, be sure to use a dedicated email address so that you can easily be reached by recruiters that find you. So those are just a few tips that you can utilize. If you ever need any assistance, our office is here to help. Feel free to schedule a virtual career advising appointment, and we will be happy to walk you through each one of these tips uh, together. So that concludes this week's episode. Make sure to tune in next Tuesday for a new episode of Concise Advice brought to you by peer advisors, Madeline and Sam. If you all have any questions or tips on uh, navigating job search websites or any questions that you have about any of the content that we presented so far um, throughout the series, be sure to use the comment sections below and like our video. So from our couch to yours, we'll see you next time.